feel like it's such a blessing to have this opportunity, um, uh, certainly an opportunity that I didn't expect a year ago. Um, and I feel like we're in great position too. You know, it's, it's one thing to come down here and just be a part of the race. It's another thing to, to do it in the way we've done it this week so far. Show up with a lot of speed in our Smithfield Ford Mustang, um, you know, lead a lot of laps in the duel, win the duel, and put ourselves in great position today for the Daytona 500. So today's the big prize. You know, Thursday night was just part one of the job. Uh, so today, hopefully we can follow through and, and make good on, on the rest of the week that we've had so far. You mentioned Thursday night and winning that duel, of course. Did you make any adjustments to that race car? Look like you're dancing around a lot out there leading the pack. Yeah, we did. We made a few adjustments, but we also want to make sure that it's fast. I mean, that's the, that's the thing that allows you to make those moves and to get to the lead and, and lead the field and do all the things you need to do to put yourself in position to win is to have a fast race car. If not, you know, you're constantly relying on other people to help you. Um, and, 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 you know, you, you can't make a lot of the moves if you don't have a fast race car. So Drew Blickensurfer and all the guys on this 10 team and everybody back at Stewart, ha Stewart Haas Racing uh, brought really fast Ford Mustangs to the racetrack. So hopefully we can get our Smithfield one in victory lane tonight. Eric Amarola rolls off.